questions. Rob says, hi everyone, a couple of questions. If building out a SERP shaker site, local services site, with each silo category having around 75 keyword location pages, is it advisable to contextually link pages in each silo to each other manually in the respective silos only? Or are they already technically linked to each other by virtue of the drop-down menu at the top of each page near the header which displays all the pages? Well, technically they are, but those navigation links aren't given the same amount of weight um, as contextual links do. So you would be better off doing that. However, I would never recommend you going in and manually linking between 75 pages uh, because that's like you've got so much better things you could be doing with your time. Also with Surfshaker, they have that next link or the, the next and the previous link. So when you're building out a silo, just use that next and previous uh, link setting. And if you're building out one silo at a time, then it would keep all of the links within that, uh, all the contextual links within that silo anyways. So honestly, I wouldn't do anything manually. I would just do that when you're building the shaker pages out. You're, um, just set that up with that next and previous link setting. Hernan, they still have that in there, right? I haven't used SERP shaker in a while. Yeah, they do. They okay. do. Mm -hmm. So that's all I would do is, in, in, you know, a, a contextual link is obviously going to be a better link than a navigation link. It always is. So um, just use the next and the previous and then select the uh, anchor text that you want to use from within the shaker page. You can even spin that. You can create a short code with spun anchors uh, or spun keywords as your anchors that are all related and have that so that you have a uh, variety between your uh, internal linking, your internal links. Mm-hmm.